Well, there's certainly a lot of questions surrounding testing for COVID-19. I spoke to an East Bay doctor who told me thousands of test kits are not being used in California because they are missing a key component. We're kind of still lagging behind in our testing, and that's because we have the tests from CDC, but we're, we don't have the reagents to be able to use them. So there's thousands of test kits that are just sitting here in state, and we aren't able to use them. So that's very frustrating. Uh, but I guess on the positive side, what we are seeing is those private laboratories that are coming forth, and we are able to use them for testing. So it's still not as good as we'd like it to be, but I guess we're ramping up and, and we're getting somewhere. We have test kits, but we're missing certain crucial pieces to them. Exactly. Which pieces are missing here? Um, they're, they're missing the reagents and, and reagent is what we use to extract the RNA from the actual nasal swab. So we're missing that. And if we can't extract from the sample, we can't do the test. So how will testing be prioritized? Who gets tested first? Healthcare workers, the first responders, nursing homes? Well, number one, if a patient is symptomatic, if they have exposure, if they have travel, or if they're one of the two groups, they definitely get priority, uh, you know, over anyone else. And then, of course, we have our healthcare workers and the first responders, and there's, um, there's basically just a list of people uh, who also get priority so that we can make sure that while they're doing their job, they're not going around exposing people if they are positive. Um, as of today, we've had 5,000 positive uh, coronavirus um, numbers today in America. But, but I think that's uh, not a very realistic number. I think what the experts are saying is it's probably somewhere close uh, to 50,000. So we just haven't been able to test as many people as we probably would have liked and should have. Uh, so I think at this point, um, you know, I've, I've talked to many experts and, and what they say and what I agree with is at this point, we should all kind of behave like we're positive. And that's the, that's the reason that it's so important to just stay at home and, and not go out there and socialize with people so that we're not spreading this around. All right, doctor, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it.